Good morning. Um, what we're talking about today is uh, nuclear submarine deals uh, and Cecil Rhodes Scholars, Thunderbolts Project Electric Universe, Thunderbolts of the Gods, Exoteric Hindu Buddhist Vajrayana. Um, I am uh, Clive Jolbar, the surrogate grandson of the Royal Engineer General Sir Clive Steele, World War II, who ra raised my mother, late Amy Jolbar, World War II. And my father was one of uh, General Sir Clive Steele's chief executive officers, Lieutenant Colonel Norman Thomas Jolbar, son of a Ballarat Jolbar tractor driver. Um, my brother-in-law, son of an Irish Republican Xavier school teacher, uh, Queen's Councillor Owen Dixon Law Chambers Melbourne Senior, uh, was uh, his solicitor, Philip Jones, uh, arranged for Paul O'Dwyer to protect Cardinal Pell in the Victorian Senate inquiry into institutional child abuse. Uh, these, well, I'm talking about the Xavier School, Q, Melbourne, and next door to that, uh, Trinity School Vice Principal Philip Anthony married one of my four sisters, Jane Anthony, who was a Wrighton school teacher and admitted to dad she was an ASIO agent in 1973. He was, ref he was furious with her. Um, both Philip and Jane Anthony assert um, there is overwhelming evidence that it's a single mass universe in which Gravity is not a force, and a black hole's mass spins the fabric of space-time. Um, if you look up you'll, at night, you'll notice the moon is a mass. It orbits Earth, Earth because of Earth's gravitational force. Every day we see the sun. The, the sun uh, has a gravital, gravitational force that affects Earth, and we orbit it once a year. Um, that's where Earth derives its solar life force. And the old name for our current sun is Utu. And the name of Earth's first sun, Electric Universe Thunderbolts Project, um, Electric Universe Theory uses the Hindu Buddhist Balinese Vajra and Bell, the, the Vajra, as a symbol of thunderbolts of the gods, uh, interplanetary electrical arcing, like an arc welder when you touch Earth sparks. Okay, so the petroglyph glyph rock art of David Talbot, part of Thunderbolts project and late uh, Davido Cardona, an Italian anthropologist, has looked into this. They've made sense of the pantheon of uh, demigods of uh, the past um, and Sumerian clay tablets, texts, and etc. etc. And um, they've proven that um, all of these um, symbols and things we use like the Vajra or the Svastika, which means Sva means all, Asti is being, Ka means embodied. So manifest cosmos is represented by the Svastika. That that you know basically is a plasmoid or you know um, the sweeping swirl of, of galaxies. You know um, they're all held together by electromagnetic forces. Uh, the, the surface of most planetary masses are positive and they all repel each other. So stories of Nibiru and Planet X, you know, 
Rex Bear leak project, although a lot of fun, I mean, is Jewish propaganda. Uh, the Jewish identity is actually a, a fake identity. Um, Abrahamic is synonymous with Heoxite. Heoxite people are Caucasians from Anatolia. They are not Semitic people. Uh, a Semitic person is somebody from the Arabian Peninsula. There were 40 or more nomadic camel train driving um, Bedouin tribes uh, from Arabian Peninsula. It was once covered by Savannah and it's established that in that area, the Oryx, the African Oryx sort of cow bull was domesticated when the Arabian Peninsula was Savannah. Uh, so they were simultaneous with other steppe Savannah grassland people, domesticators of cattle. Um, some 12,000 years ago, the Arabian Peninsula dried out. Uh, definitely not human caused global warming, uh, but just natural uh, changes in Earth's um, biosphere, you know, probably due to both changes in both solar and cosmic irradiation. So there is a lot of BS um, around, and I actually grew up around uh, Rupert Murdoch Associates. Uh, my mother, late Amy Jelwark, and the Victorian Premier, Jeff Kennett, whose boathouse at Davies Bay Yacht Club Mount Eliza we shared, um, in the 60s and early 70s, uh, both pay, played pennant competition golf with Rupert Murdoch's mother, 